In the last video, we've learned that if we invoke the callback function directly by clicking the speak button, the app freezes or it becomes unresponsive. Let me show you one more time. So we run this, grab some text from my blog over here. Notice how it becomes unresponsive once I click the speak button. Researchers from universities in Italy, Brazil and the United States did a study comparing resistance trained RT athletes who engaged in intermittent fasting 16 eighths with RT athletes who ate normally. The experiment ran for eight weeks and the study was published in the Journal of Translational Medicine in October. 2016. You can read it here. Okay, and now it's responsive while, once it finished speaking. So, this is because the entire program is taken over by the running of this function, the callback function. So, this is a behavior we don't want in our app. We avoid this by using something called threading which kind of isolates the invoking of the callback function and allows the app to uh, remain responsive. So in our definition of the threading function, let's delete these. We're gonna create a new thread called T1 equals thread that comes from the uh, threading which we've imported over here and we're gonna target the callback function next we have to start the thread and we do this by t1 star And then we'll replace the command to run when the speak button is pressed. So we'll replace the callback over here with THR, our threading function. So now whenever we click speak, we're going to create a new thread to handle the callback function and allow the app to remain responsive at the same time. Okay, let's delete this as well. Now let's run it one more time. F5, notice how I can, uh, when after I click the speak button, notice how I can uh, use the application by scrolling through the text. Now let me paste the text. Click speak. Researchers from universities in Italy, Brazil and the United States did a study comparing resistance trained RT athletes who engaged in intermittent fasting 16 eighths with RT athletes who ate normally. The experiment ran for eight weeks and the study was published in the Journal of Translational Medicine in October 2016. You can read it here. And you see uh, that the app remained responsive while the command was running. So as it is now, let me close this. As it is now, the application accomplishes its desired purpose. And as I've said in the introductory video, the first in this series, this could be useful for non-English natives if they want a voice that mimics natural language to speak in their videos on YouTube or other places. This could also be helpful for anonymizing purposes, I guess. What we're going to do in the next video is to work a bit on the GUI to make the app more aesthetic without actually affecting its minimalistic aspect and its functionality. So if you enjoyed this one, hey, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. See you in the next one.